Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today I will be narrating a story called The Tax of Magic. If you like these bedtime stories, please feel free to leave a comment. The story begins now. In the mystical land of Rinbridge, nestled between the Whispering Woods and the Sapphire Sea, lived a young man named Grimwald Harvey. He was unlike any ordinary lad of the town. He had a heart that pulsed with the spirit of adventure and eyes that gleamed with the wisdom of the ancients. His occupation was unique, for he was Vrinbridge's only magical tax collector. It wasn't gold or silver that Grimwald collected, but magical energies that the townsfolk produced, feelings of joy, whispers of creativity, and fragments of dreams, which were essential to the well-being of the land. The story of Grimwald begins on an ordinary morning when the first golden rays of the sun kissed the cobblestone streets of Vrinbridge. Grimwald's task was to collect the mystical dews from the enchanted market, where witches sold laughter in jars and wizards auctioned spells. However, on this day, something was amiss. The market was empty, the usual hum of magic was eerily silent. Grimwald's heart sank as he realized that the magic was fading, and with it, the life of his beloved town. Determined to restore Vrinbridge to its former glory, Grimwald embarked on a quest that would take him to the farthest corners of the land. His journey led him through the Whispering Woods, where the trees spoke in riddles, and to the Sapphire Sea, whose depths held secrets of old. Along the way, Grimwald encountered creatures of lore, a griffin guarding the Bridge of Fate, a band of elves singing under the moonlight, and even a gnome with riddles that twisted the mind. Grimwald's greatest challenge came in the form of the Sorceress of Shadows, who had ensnared the magic of Vrinbridge for her own dark purposes. In a battle of wits and wills, Grimwald outsmarted the sorceress, liberating the magic and returning it to where it belonged. However, with the sorceress's final curse, the pathway back to Vrinbridge was lost, leaving Grimwald in a realm between worlds. The story of Grimwald Harvey ends with an open-ended conclusion, leaving the readers to imagine his fate. Did he find his way back to Vrinbridge, or did he become a wanderer of the realms, forever seeking a path home? His legacy, however, endured in the hearts of the Vrinbridge folk, who spoke of a hero whose duty was as solid as the ancient stones of the town, a tax collector who paid the greatest price to save the magic of their world.